Hi there. Let's take a look at how you calculate capacity utilisation. To start with, a brief reminder, what do we mean by capacity? Well, capacity is a measure of output. It's a measure of how much output a business could potentially achieve over a given period. And uh, there are lots of different ways you can measure capacity. But the key thing is it's a measure of potential output, the maximum output. So, for example, uh, a fast food outlet might be able to serve a thousand customers per hour based on how many stations it has, how many staff it has working. A call center might be able to handle a certain number of calls per day, assuming all the staff are in and they're all available to take calls. And similarly, a great example, of course, is a football stadium where the capacity is to a large extent fixed by the number of seats that can be sold for each match. So capacity is a measure of output. Capacity utilization is a percentage. So it's a percentage calculation. And what it does, it compares the actual output that is produced or used compared with the potential. So capacity utilization, you clearly need to know both the actual output, but also the capacity, the potential output. We calculate capacity utilization as a percentage. And the way we calculate it is to first divide the actual level of output in units divided by that potential output, the capacity, also in units. That gives us a number. We multiply that by 100 to give us a percentage, a proportion of potential capacity that is actually used. So let's have a quick look at two or three examples of this calculation in action so you can uh, see the different ways in which capacity utilization can be asked. Uh, we've got a small case study here. It's a manufacturer of dog food. Wolf Dog Foods has one production line and it can make a maximum of 100,000 cans of dog food per week. So there's our measure of capacity. It's the potential output over a specified period. In this case, 100,000 cans per week. That's a lot of dog food. Last week, we're told total production or actual production was 87,000 cans. So the first question is, what was the capacity utilization? I pause the video if you wish and have a go at calculating it, then we'll have a look at the answer. Well, of course, we've got most of the information that we need here, haven't we? In fact, all of it. We're told the actual output of 87,000 cans. We're told the potential, i.e. the capacity of 100,000. So we simply divide 87,000 by 100,000 and multiply it by 100. And if we do that, it comes out as 87%. In other words, Wolf Dog Foods is operating below its potential capacity and it has spare capacity, the difference between uh, actual utilisation and 100% of 13%, doesn't it? It could operate, if it was making 100,000 cans each week, it will be operating at 100% capacity utilisation. But it's working at 13% lower than that, 87% capacity utilisation. Let's just change the example slightly. We're still with Wolf Dog Foods, but now we're told good news in the dog food industry. Wolf Dog Foods has increased its capacity to 150,000 cans per week. And it's done this by adding an extra production shift. If the capacity utilization last week was 90%, how many cans did it make based on this new capacity? Have a go at doing the calculation and then pause the video and see if you get the question right. Well, let's have a look at the answer. We're given the uh, some of the information. We're given the potential uh, output, the capacity of 150,000, and we're told that the utilization figure was 90%. So we have to work out what the actual output was. Well, in this case, what we do is we take the potential 150 percent, 150,000 cans. We're told the actual output was 90% of that. So 150,000 times by 0.9 or times by 90%. That comes out at 135,000 cans of dog food. So that's how many cans Wolf Dog Foods made last week at a 90% utilisation rate based on a capacity of 150,000 cans. One final example just to show you the different ways in which capacity, capacity utilisation can be asked. Uh, a bit more information, Wolf has expanded rapidly with a new range of organic dog food. It now plans to produce 500,000 cans, half a million cans per week, and it's planning a capacity utilisation of 95%. So it wants the actual output to be 500,000 cans per week at a utilisation of 95%. What capacity would it need to achieve this? Have a go at uh, working out the answer. And if you've had a go, Let's have a look at the answer. Well, we're told the actual output is going to be 500,000 cans per week. That's the plan. 
we're told that the utilization needs to be 95%. In other words, we're going to need to have more capacity than 500,000. How do we calculate the potential or the, the needed capacity? Well, it's 500,000 divided by 0.95 or divided by 95%, which comes out at 526,000. 316 cans so hopefully you can see how that was just a slight variation there in the data given but you were still calculating uh, capacity utilization that's therefore been a short and hopefully useful introduction to how you calculate capacity utilization